do a lot of beach walking. So I use uh, materials that I find in the environment. Um, we use driftwood, uh, get plastic from the beach and do all sorts of um, uh, arty, constructive works out of um, those materials. Really it's, it's value adding to something, um, whether it be a fallen tree, um, a piece of driftwood or some plastic off the beach, to take that piece and make it valuable again, make it sought after, make it a treasured thing um, by um, putting it in combination with other materials or presenting it in a way that people want to have it in their homes. Fishing debris. Fishing debris seems to be one of the most popular. This is the entrance for a crayfish a cray pot. Uh, I do have a variety of shoes, thongs and other, other footwear, which um, we will be doing some sort of a sculpture. I'm thinking walking up a pole is probably going to be the sculpture we'll do with those. You know, rather than just putting them in the, in the garbage, thinking, OK, well, each one of these pieces has a story. Um, and so trying to tell that story through the pieces of work that, uh, that you make is, is sort of one of the things that we uh, try to do. Um, just wondering when you, know, when you tip out a whole bag of plastics and stuff that you found at the beach, just wondering, you know, how did this get there? Where does it come from? What was it used for? My partner and I make um, bee hotels out of um, pallets and driftwood and uh, bird houses and yeah, lots of uh, constructions. I've been down here at you know one, two, three in the morning sometimes just trying to finish a piece um, because I want to, not because I have to, but because I'm really quite excited about it and uh, you know I've got the, the energies flowing there and I'm like a kid in a toy shop really.